Hello, Irish Zero here. Hope you're all well. I'm good. Thanks very much for asking. So, this video is going to be about Fallout 4. Now, to start off, um, I'm not a Fallout fan. I think uh, Bethesda are... I, I don't have a hard-on for Bethesda or Fallout like the rest of the internet does. Um, so, I haven't played Fallout. I'm not going to play Fallout. So just before any of this starts and the reasons why now it's not a hipster thing where it's like you know well everyone loves it so I'm gonna hate it uh, the pro the reason why I'm not gonna play Fallout is I find the media's coverage of it absolutely disgusting and of course because of the media that snowballs into the audience because if the media gets excited then the audience will get excited and it goes on and, you know, Bethesda doesn't really, there's no real advertising for it because Bethesda knows the media is going to sell it for them. Um, so, I mean, I studied media in college. And one of the things they tell you is you're supposed to be impartial. It's not really, what the media has been doing with Fallout um, isn't really impartial. It's this love affair which I don't get like personally I always thought the Fallout games were unbelievably boring and since I had uh, the PlayStation versions of uh, of Bethesda games of Fallout of uh, Skyrim they're all broken and I thought it was pretty shitty Bethesda would um, would sell me those versions but for some reason they get a pass like Skyrim was an abortion yet for some reason it's like, oh, well, we, we'll fix it later. But the world is so huge. It doesn't matter if it looks like crap or runs like crap. It's so huge. It's a, it's a huge, crappy world. And, um, and yeah, for some reason, they get a pass. For, I don't know what they're doing. Like, I, I like Bethesda published games. I like The Evil Within. Uh, like um, Dishonored. Uh, even um, uh, Wolfenstein. But it seems Bethesda developed games are run, run like crap but because the world is so big bigger is obviously better um and i don't i don't get it i really really don't and and the thing is what's that well if you don't like fallout don't play it i don't if you don't want to um if you don't want to see coverage of fallout don't go on the websites that's the problem i do want to go on websites i do want to go on ign i do want to go on GameSpot, but i can't because every every headline Fallout, 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 game comparison. Here's tips on how to get the best stuff. Do you remember Tomb Raider? Yeah, Tomb, Ra Tomb Raider also comes out tomorrow. But don't worry about it because the media says, you know, F Tomb Raider, here's Fallout. Yeah, we did our review, whatever. And it's kind of sad because um, the media is basically telling you, don't care about Fallout, Tomb Raider, whatever. Uh, this is the game you want. This is what everything's been building up to. Um... Every game you played, The Witcher, uh, Batman, Metal Gear, it's all filler for Fallout. Yeah, journalists, writers, I wouldn't really call them journalists, video games. But writers and saying, oh, I'm going to take days off. It's like, oh, I'm so excited. This is going to be my whole Christmas now I was playing Fallout. And how, that's not really being impartial. It's okay to be excited, but when you're representing a, um, like a media group, like a website, you're maybe kind of go a bit easy but um yeah but they don't which is kind of kind of unethical i study media i think it's they're basically crap as journalists they're basically crapping on media ethics and and you know bethesda must just be loving it because they're not they don't have to do much advertising because ign has does all these non-sponsored news stories and basically whatever Something huge would have to happen to take Fallout away. Because Tomb Raider has come and gone. Um, I hope it doesn't. I hope Tomb Raider sells a lot. But basically it's just... I don't know. I, I think it's just... They're just... Square Enix are now just waiting for the PS4 version to come out. Because then it might actually sell. Um, so yeah. I don't know what I'm rambling on. I'm, I'm kind of tired. So yeah, and, and now Bethesda, who, you know, despite what they try to say, they're not this independent media, they're not this, like, independent grassroots hippie developer. Like, they're a corporation. 
and they've been whoring Fallout. Like if you go to their store, uh, Kotaku in the UK, to the store, it's like 111 items of like towels, onesies for your kid, um, handbags. They're just pouring Fallout everywhere. That stupid Pit Boy thing, which apparently only works with certain iPhones. Um, again, stupid message. Um, so again, uh, yeah, maybe I just don't get it. You know, it's not that. I mean, I don't like the Fallout games because they're boring. Like, it's not because well, everyone likes it, I'm gonna hate it. Um, but like, I play games a lot. I know what's good, even if I don't like a game. That's, I know why it's good. Fallout is just boring. They're broken. Yet for some reason, that's another thing when I read reviews. They talk about technical bugs, but for some reason, it still gets a nine. I don't get that, but you know the world is big, so it's okay. You know, big world equals you know great game. I don't know. Maybe I'm just stupid. I don't care. Um, but yeah, maybe it's finally nice to say something negative about Fallout, not about the game. Again, I'm never gonna play the game. But just about the whole thing, everything around the game is seriously, seriously shitty. And um. And if you watched up to this point in the video, buy Tomb Raider. Please buy Tomb Raider. Um, even if you, you are going to buy Fallout, don't forget Tomb Raider exists. Otherwise, you know, otherwise, you know, they win, the bad guys win. You know, the media now decides what you do with your games. Remember, the media decides what games you buy. And, you know, and that's shitty. You should always decide. The media should always be equal. Maybe that's not gonna happen.